Hello, welcome to my tech farm. I have a CD scanner for the review in this video, and this box is sent to me by the Revo Point in exchange for the review. This is Revo Point Inspire. This is the scanner for the mid sized objects. Now, this means that uh, this is for the size between the mini, Revo Point mini, and the range. But of course, we have the POP3, and uh, there is very nice page uh, comparison of these products. And according to that, I can see that the Spire is also between the POP3 and the range, according to the object for the scanning. Let's see a few specifications from the website. The accuracy is up to 0.2 millimeters, and the scanning speed is between 14 and 18 frames per second. This is quite good because uh, this is not for faster scanning, but uh, if we are doing the scanning, uh, the tracking will be more accurate. Minimum scanning volume is uh, 50 mm cubic. Multi device supports, so we can use the PC computer or the smartphone. And signal capture range is uh, 230 and uh, 140 mm. This is approximately this size for the optimal distance. This means that in this area we must have enough uh, features or marking points for accurate tracking. Working distance is between 250 and 500 millimeters, and the tracking mode can be done with the features or markers, and it is able for the score scanning too. Let's see what's in the box. The packaging is very nice, and beside the scanner we have the small tripod. This is the test object, uh, which is usually included, but in different sizes with the other scanners too. And then we have uh, some user manuals, uh, cables, uh, small tripod, um, magic mat and some marker point stickers, uh, calibration board, uh, marker topper. Only later I noticed these are not uh, printed user manuals, only cards with the QR code, so we can uh, scan it and uh, download these uh, user manuals. This is the scanner itself, and from all Revo Point scanners I tested, this is the smallest one. And uh, on the front side we have different sensors, uh, on the bottom side this is the hole for the tripod. And on the back side uh, we have a USB Type-C plug and uh, one button. This is USB Type-C power cable for the turntable. And here we have the switch if we want to use it clockwise or counterclockwise. And here we can adjust the speed. Uh, we don't have the power adapter for it, so I'll use my phone charger power adapter. This is the cable for the scanner, so this goes inside here, Type-C, and we can secure it with this uh, screw. Uh, the other side is Type-A, but we have this adapter for the Type-C if necessary. This cable is 2 meters long and I will start using the scanner with my laptop and later I will try it with my smartphone. The software is Scan 5, more about them later. And when I started it asked for the calibration, it's just rotating of the scanner around the X and then around the Z axis. And after this the calibration is completed and I'm ready for the scanning. And first I will scan this object which was in the box. And I will scan it first in uh, two passes. So this is the first one, the first position. And after this I paused the scanning, I rotated the objects and immediately it recognized the new position and aligned the scanning. So this was the second pass. So this means on one side it is not so good and I can see some holes. It, they can be covered by the software very easily, but in my second attempt I actually tried uh, three passes, and here you can see actually the third one. So this is the point cloud, this is the mesh, and I have to clear the objects. Um, these are the size of the turntable. And I can do it in this software, so this is also a very big improvement compared to the version 4. And this is the mesh. I can see some uh, small parts which also has to be cleaned. And I also can do it in the software, and I can export it. And this is in a slicer, aligning it, uh, cutting the bottom so I can have a nice flat surface, better adhesion.
and it's ready for printing. It was printed on NS3 S1 using uh, three supports. And here you can see the real object and the printed one side by side. I'm very happy with the results. In my next scanning I want to scan this toy and I also want to scan the textures too. Now I think there will be some hard parts, uh, probably the eyes will not be visible because they are black, um, but I will not use the scanning spray, I will see the results. Probably this will be also confusing a little bit. And uh, yes, the wings, they are partly transparent, but uh, I think they will not be visible on the scanning, but I don't even need them, I just want the body of this toy. It's a little bit big for the tripod and the turntable board, but I will use the turntable, only the scanning will be from my hand. This is the point cloud, the next step is to create the mesh. And I can see a lot of holes, especially from those uh, low angles, which couldn't be covered by a scanner, but these holes can be recognized by the software and uh, they can be filled also. And then I'm removing the points of the turntable. After this I am creating the texture model and this really looks very nice and basically this can be imported into I don't know, Blender and create some animation or something like that. So this is not only for 3D printing. Exporting. So these are those steps, these are fuse points meshed and this is textured. And it is great that in this version I can go back to any of these steps. After this I'm importing this into Slicer, of course I have to scale it down a little bit because it is too big for the printing, rotating it, I will cut a little bit from the bottom because I need flat surface, but it's ready for printing. Printing again on Ender 3 S1 using Polythera PLA filament in marble color. Not so nice without textures, but definitely recognizable and my daughter loves it. This rubber horse is included in every single 3D scanner video on this channel and uh, with the big view angle scanners like Orange I scan the whole toy but with the smaller view angle or like this one I want to scan only the head. It is not easy for the scanning, uh, we have these black eyes and don't have too much uh, geometry on the side but uh, let's give it a try. This is my first attempt uh, which was a failure and I know why because I started from one side going to the other and then it ends with the several ears. This is typical error for this uh, object. The correct method is to start from the center going to one side only and then after pausing the scanning again from the center to the other side. And this time it was finished correctly. Looks promising so this is the fusing of the points. This is the mesh the textures and I will cut here unwanted points just a little bit to clean it and this is the final result if I zoom in really I can see all those details on this object. Now let's try scanning a human face and I don't have other volunteers except me currently. Actually sometimes my youngest daughter helps me but she's in, in the kindergarten now and anyway she have a patient only for one or two attempts. So I'll try to scan my face but only a front because uh, this is what I can do from the hand and um, I don't know, let's see the results. Uh, maybe afternoon I will try to scan my youngest daughter we will we'll see if that one or two attempts will be enough. First I was worried about scanning the face because of that flickering when I'm scanning in a color mode but later I noticed in the software that I can select the object to be a face and that flickering disappears so that's a good sign. And this is view in the Bravo scan so I started from one side and then I tried to go a little bit above and below my face. For the moment it even lost the tracking but it was fine so here I moved some unwanted points and this is now the fused mesh also with the texture and looks good. Well this was a really pleasant surprise. <laughs> the quality is really good but uh, now I understand why I have so low U rating because I'm really ugly. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so definitely it works. I hope I will have opportunity to scan, I know maybe my daughter's uh, the whole head because this is really promising. Of course the critical part is always the hair but my head is uh, perfect for this. <laughs> When we start the software we have the warning that it cannot really scan the transparent, shiny or black objects. 
but uh, recently in software I can see that I can select uh, dark objects so let's give it a try so this is almost black shoe and um, I'll try to scan it without additional scanning spray or something similar I had several attempts and um, as you can see the software couldn't really see or track these points on the black surface it looks like this object is too dark to be scanned directly with this scanner without scanning spray or something similar mm, let's try something different scanning spray which will vanish after a couple of hours so i don't have to clean it but uh, if you are able to wash your object then you can use a cheaper solutions like baby powder or dry shampoo we will see is this enough uh, theoretically it should be scannable now well at least from outside I'm starting with scanning using the tripod, but later I lift it up a little bit with my hands so I can scan inside the hole too. This is the point cloud and I'm removing some unwanted points, creating the mesh. And I can see some holes here, but uh, this looks uh, quite good. Those holes can be filled even inside this uh, Revascan software, but uh, I'm just experimenting a little bit, so quite good for the first attempt. Let's try to use the scanner over the smartphone. Now the scanner needs power, but it cannot be powered from the smartphone. So I connect it to this power bank and I connect to the smartphone over the Wi-Fi. There are Inspire or Revo type of the network, so I will connect to this one. And now I can start the Revo scan application. Okay, everything is prepared. The scanner gets the power from the power bank and it is connected over the Wi-Fi with the smartphone and I will try to rescan that object from the beginning of the video. So let's start new project. The accuracy mm, standard. Tracking is feature, not marker. Object type, uh, I will leave it a general and I don't need the color scanning here. Start scanning. And this is the object, the distance is perfect and I know I can start the scanning now. It looks great. Excellent distance. And that was one rotation. Stop the scanning. Mm, post processing. This is speed up video. Time lapse of approximately three and a half minutes. Processing is finished and first experience that uh, I don't have so many options like over the laptop and it is much slower so it is more automatic basically now from here I can just I don't know maybe share uh, because I, I like to do some post processing here for example I would like to close those holes uh, but otherwise this is very good very clean object so definitely uh, scanning quality over the smartphone is also good there is no problem with that let's see what can we do with the share button mm -hmm. we can share the STL object or apply file with our PC or the whole project uh, but for this of course uh, we have to connect the laptop to the same network and uh, mm, yes okay on PC I'm going import from phone and I have to enter this number back to smartphone entering the number and the uh, file transfer starts and now it is sending the file to the PC 130 megabytes, quite big file, but mm, it is uploaded in a few seconds, so this is good. And again, I'm on PC, so this is that project imported from the smartphone. Let's close these holes. Rotating a few more holes to connect. And this is the final object, ready for using. Another conclusion. Our first experience with Revo Point Inspire is very positive. Of course, it has some limitations, like most of these budget scanners. It don't like uh, black colors, uh, don't like uh, transparent or shiny materials. In that case, you have to use the scanning spray or baby powder or dry shampoo or something similar. Uh, also, the object must have enough geometry or textual features uh, in that view angle, so it can be tracked correctly and those frames can be fused together. Uh, if not, you always have the option to use the marking points. And... Uh, what uh, most of the companies don't really understand that uh, I believe the 40% of the user experience is the hardware and at least 60% is the software. And here the Revo Point did a very big step. So this, uh, I think, 5.3 Revo Scan version is fantastic compared to the older versions. 
so in version 4 I remember I just want to do the scanning and exporting as soon as possible and then importing to I don't know mesh mixer or something like that where I will do all those uh, post processing. Here I can do most of the processing uh, inside the software and the most important is removing unwanted uh, points and uh, surfaces and this is important because uh, you don't want them to slow down the post processing later in preparing the texture and similar and this can be done in the software and also I noticed that uh, even the software itself is faster compared to the older version but I'm still using the same laptop like two years ago so this is also a big improvement here and uh, my compliments to RevoPoint great job with the newest uh, RevoScan uh, this was my first experience yes about the smartphone uh, the smart version also works, of course it has some limitations. The connection was uh, perfect, so here I don't have that uh, any kind of problems. Uh, the limitation of the application is noticeable, of course. You can do the scanning there, but then you want to export it and uh, transfer to the laptop or PC. And then in a Revo scan uh, software, you want to do the post-processing if you, if you need to, of course. This is my experience with Revo Point Inspire, so highly recommended scanner. I'm not sure about the price currently because it's in a Kickstarter so far, but uh, definitely something to consider if you want to buy a CD scanner and it is good for this size. If you want to scan a bigger size car or something like that, then check the Revo Point range. But if you want to scan a smaller objects and definitely then the mini is best, you know, small figures smaller than I know 50 millimeters cubic. Other experience, you know, share your experience with others in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy scanning.